All right, you've reached the end, so what now? You remember early on in the series, I said that Netbox can be two things. One is a phenomenal and lightning fast data center infrastructure management and IP address management database where you put all your information in, right? And they said, once it's all in there, now you can use it as the source of truth and tie in all the other systems that you have. This is the number one challenge, or at least one of the top challenges that we've had at VIA, which is my company, we're a managed service provider using Netbox to document all kinds of things at this point, but it wasn't always so. We had many different uh, utilities, on management utilities, uh, monitoring utilities. We had accounting, billing systems, all this kind of stuff where we're putting in the same data again and again and again. Oh, let's track the warranty for those devices. Okay, we'll put, put in an Excel spreadsheet over there, right? All of that became different systems. And anytime you have the same data in multiple systems, there's a very good chance of error, especially when you're talking about a whole bunch of busy network engineers trying to put it in in their free time, right? That's not where you want to be. Make Netbox. I want you to just envision, just close your eyes if it helps, this, this bubble at the middle of everything you do at your organization called Netbox, right? This is the database. This is the source of truth where you input that information oftentimes before the devices even exist, right? Maybe you order it and you're planning to implement it. And from that bubble, a script runs that generates the configuration for that device, that automatically adds it to the monitoring system with the right sensors, that puts it in your billing database and your accounting system so it depreciates at the right rate, right, for tax reporting purposes, and the customers get the right bill for what you're offering for them, right? This can be in a data center, this could be in an enterprise company, this could be in a small business, it doesn't matter. All of these organizations are affected by multiple systems that all do similar but slightly different stuff, right? But for now, your job is to take all the information that you've got in this series and build that central database, that source of truth, because it's not much of a source if there's nothing in there. From there, then we can start talking about integrating APIs in a lot of the places that I want to go. So for now, good luck. And my friend, keep it simple.